In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your launch key with Logic Pro X. The launch key integrates closely with Logic Pro X, and in order to do so, you need to run a small installer. Below this video, you'll find a link to go to your account, where you'll find the script under the Drivers tab. You can also find this installer on our freely accessible downloads page. Click download to download the installer. Make sure Logic is closed. Click on the downloaded file, right click the installer, and then select open. Follow the instructions on screen. Once this installer has run, open Logic. Your launch key will be automatically detected by Logic Pro X. You can use the red pads to control the record arm buttons, and you can use the yellow pads to control the solo buttons. Press the stop solo mute button to toggle between solo and mute buttons. You can use the track buttons to navigate through tracks. To select what the pots are controlling, hold down shift and use the top row of pads. Selecting device will allow you to control Logic's smart controls, which you can bring up by clicking just here, or pressing B for Bravo on your keyboard. To select what the pads are controlling, hold down Shift and use the bottom row of pads. Session will allow you to access the record arm, solo and mute functions that I just explained. You have access to transport controls just here, and you can also use the undo and click buttons from the top row. If you're using a launch key 49 or 61, you can hold down shift and use the track select buttons to choose what the faders are controlling. This will be the track volumes by default. You can use the arm select button to toggle the track select buttons between controlling record arm or track select.